Hello, space flight enthusiasts. Stay tuned to the end of this video for another update on my upcoming trip to Australia. Over two months ago, I released a video sounding the alarm bells regarding 2024 YR4 and its potential impact on the moon. I was immediately criticized in the comments section by many people who said that I was clickbaiting, said that there was no scientific basis for my claims, and that a lunar impact of this asteroid would present no threat whatsoever to human civilization. However, two days ago, an article came out in Universe Today referencing the study entitled The Potential Danger to Satellites Due to Ejecta from a 2032 Lunar Impact by Asteroid 2024 YR4. The very threat that I had talked about over two months ago, the very threat that no astronomer, that no scientist had taken seriously until now. So what is the real truth? Well, you're going to find out in just a moment. Good afternoon, space flight enthusiasts, and welcome to another Angry Bulletin. Not going to spend as much time on this one, simply because I just released a video about this topic a couple of weeks ago, and I don't want to just rehash all the same details. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of new information has suddenly come out, both in terms of where 2024 YR4 is likely to impact on the moon, should that impact take place, but more importantly, a team of astronomers have finally decided to take people like me seriously and research what the potential consequences might be if 2024 YR4 were to impact on the moon in 2032. Not the consequences to anybody on the Earth's surface, but rather the consequences to our incredibly important satellite network. Now, I want to be 100% clear. I am not claiming that I am somehow more clever, more well-informed than all of these highly educated people. I just happened to research the topic and look for papers that were published in the past about a scenario just like this one. And I found one, one that was put out by a person far cleverer than I, an astronomy student at Arizona State University about 20 years ago, about a potential lunar impact. And interestingly enough, that study came to a lot of the same conclusions that this new study is coming to. And so finally, after all this time that astronomers have simply looked upon a lunar impact as being just kind of a cool thing to where we can learn a lot about impact craters and about asteroids, that sort of thing, without any sort of significant threat to our civilization, well, we're finally starting to realize that things could be a lot more serious than that. And by the way, imagine how disappointed I was when I discovered that the universetoday.com article linked a YouTube video by Fraser Kane about 2024 YR4, which was released over a year ago and had nothing to do with the potential lunar impact. I can't imagine that these folks are completely unaware of the work that I've done on the topic. I just think that maybe my content is a little bit more risky for mainstream scientific websites to link. All that having been said, though, let's go ahead and talk about the article. Quote, shortly after astronomers detected asteroid 2024 YR4 on December 27, 2024, they realized it posed no threat to Earth, but it still might impact the moon in 2032. The impact debris could threaten satellites and trigger an extraordinarily stunning meteor 
a shower. Asteroid 2024 YR4 is about 53 to 67 meters in diameter. It's the same size as the asteroid responsible for the Tunguska event in 1908. As I have mentioned before, that's not necessarily a good comparison to be making because that particular object was probably a cometary fragment that melted as it was passing through the atmosphere and air bursted over Siberia as opposed to digging a crater. All that having been said, though, let's go ahead and continue. It has about a 4% chance, it's actually a little bit more than that, of striking the moon in 2032. And if it does, it will excavate a crater about one kilometer in diameter. It will also send about 100 million tons of debris into space. This cloud of debris could pose a hazard for satellites. The research is titled, quote, The Potential Danger to Satellites Due to Ejecta from a 2032 Lunar Impact by Asteroid 2024 YR4 and has been submitted to AAS Journals. The lead author is Paul Weigert, who, by the way, is a very respected asteroid expert from the Department of Physics and Astronomy and the Institute for Earth and Space Exploration at the University of Western Ontario. Incidentally, Paul Weigert is the same scientist who released a paper about the potential of a small object impacting Apophis during its approach to Earth and changing its trajectory just enough to possibly impact. And according to his research, the odds of Apophis hitting the Earth are now higher than NASA was originally thinking. And incidentally, he implemented this study about a month or two after I released a video about this very topic. I can't help but wonder if he watches my channel, but let's go ahead and continue. 100 million tons of debris is a lot, but not all of it will make its way to Earth. Quote, depending on the actual impact location on the moon, as much as 10% of this material may accrete to the Earth on timescales of a few days. They determined that in late 2032, if 2024 YR4 strikes the moon, the satellites near Earth would be exposed to a decade's worth of equivalent background meteoroid impact exposure. Quote, a primary concern are ejected particles above the impact hazard threshold of 0.1 millimeters for satellites delivered directly to low Earth orbit on relatively short time scales that could pose a hazard to spacecraft. The researcher's goal was to determine what the short-term effect of 2024 YR4's impact on the moon would be. Quote, we emphasize that there exist orders of magnitude uncertainties in the following following analysis they explain in a caveat. They estimated five important factors. Number one, the size of the crater. Number two, the amount of material ejected into space. Number three, the size frequency distribution of the escaped ejecta. Number four, the range of locations for the impact on the moon. And number five, the delivery efficiency of escaped ejecta reaching near Earth space. It starts with the lunar impact corridor, which is based on the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies Small Body Database. From the variables in 2024 YR4's computer trajectory, the authors simulated 10,000 clones for the asteroid and their trajectories, 410 of them striking the moon. The impact would likely be in the southern hemisphere on the moon's leading side, illustrated right here. Now, the fraction of debris that reaches escape velocity that actually reaches Earth depends heavily on the impact location. Quote, because the moon is orbiting the Earth at approximately one kilometer per second for ejected material to reach Earth quickly, the impacting object needs to hit the trailing edge of the moon in such a way that the ejected material's velocity after rising out of the moon's gravitational well largely cancels out the moon's orbital velocity. The researchers investigated four of the 410 simulated impacts to determine how much ejecta could reach the Earth. They found that there's a significant probability that 2024 YR4 will strike a location on the moon that delivers 10% of the impact ejecta quickly to near Earth space. 10% of 100 million tons. 
According to the researchers, compared to the typical meteoroid threat that our satellites face on an annual basis, the instantaneous flux could reach 10 to 1,000 times the background sporadic meteor flux at sizes that pose a hazard to astronauts and spacecraft. This increased environmental exposure of our satellites to debris would accelerate their aging and shorten overall lifespan. This is particularly true for satellites in low Earth orbit, which constitutes the majority of satellites. Almost 90% of all satellites are in low Earth orbit. This will all occur during the few days of maximum ejected delivery from a 2024 YR4 impact, according to the researchers. By 2032, the number of satellites will grow, and so will the low Earth orbit satellite cross-section increasing the risk and potential damage. Quote, given the very large total exposed area for satellites by 2032, it becomes possible that hundreds to thousands of impacts from millimeter-sized debris ejected by a lunar impact from 2024 YR4 will be experienced across the entire satellite fleet. However, by 2032, the risk could encompass more than just satellites. Our presence on the lunar surface could mean more dangerous exposure. Quote, the ejection of material from the moon could be a serious hazard to moon orbiting spacecraft, such as the Lunar Gateway, but would likely pose even greater dangers to any lunar surface operations, given that most ejecta mass will accumulate over a wide swath of the moon according to Wiegert and his co-researchers. As it stands, the odds of 2024 YR4 impacting the moon in 2032 are relatively low, only about 4.3%, and in 2028, the asteroid will pass harmlessly by Earth, giving astronomers another opportunity to observe it and constrain its future trajectory. That will lead to more accurate determinations of the potential impact site, which will lead to an updated understanding of the risk that the debris poses. But once again, we're only talking about a four-year time frame from the 2028 observation to the moment of impact. That's not a lot of time to plan out a mission, build a spacecraft, assign it to a rocket, and get all of that thrown together in time to deflect an asteroid like 2024 YR4. And after further study of this paper, I found another potential consequence to a lunar impact above and beyond everything that we've talked about so far. Quote, in addition to increased flux over a few days, there's also material delivered to long-lived, as in months to years, Earth orbits that could pose an ongoing concern to space-based assets. These could affect operations of meteoroid-sensitive space platforms over longer time frames. This includes things like space stations. Now, although the International Space Station will not be in orbit by 2032, the commercial space stations that are supposed to replace the ISS will definitely be around. And it would be terrible timing indeed to have large clouds of damaging debris threatening these space stations so soon after their deployment. Also, an enormous waste of resources, time, and money. The study concludes with the following two sentences, quote, Our analysis highlights that issues of planetary defense extend beyond just the effects of impacts on the Earth's surface. Impacts on the moon may generate particles that can interfere with low Earth orbiting satellites. And also something mentioned in this study is the fact that this will be the most significant impact on the moon or the Earth for that matter in the last 5,000 years. And perhaps we should take this threat a lot more seriously until we know that this asteroid is not going to impact anything close to our planet. And as long as we know that there's no other threat that's going to present a danger anytime in the near future.
So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. And I hope that others begin to take this warning a little bit more seriously now, especially given the fact that people with actual degrees have released a study on the topic as opposed to irritating YouTubers like myself. But all of that having been said, let's talk real quick about Australia again. Thanks to all of you folks. I'm now up to 43% of my total goal and really, really making huge strides towards eventually being able to fund this trip. Once again, I've already reserved my flight. I've already put a deposit on my rental car, but still have a ways to go. If you're interested in supporting this, well, my GoFundMe is linked in the description. It will also be pinned in the comments, or if you'd like to purchase a piece of merchandise like this one here in 2029, kiss your asteroids goodbye. Of course, that's about Apophis, but hey, we can always make it all about uh, 2024 YR4 as well. Or you can support me on Patreon and get access to a library of exclusive videos that will be growing again this month. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay angry about space.